There is some good news this midday for families and communities in need of a helping hand. Whether it is fixing a home or mending a relationship, the long arm of the law can now reach out to a faith-based organization willing to do the legwork. Joining me now, Pastor Durant Kreider of the Coastlands Community Church and also, also Chesapeake's Chief of Police, Kale Wright. Thanks to both of you for coming on this midday. Thank you. And it sounds great because when officers are out on patrol or they're responding to situations, they see a lot of things happening in homes and communities that maybe aren't a crime, but certainly are a shame and feel they want to do something about it, but sometimes just can't spend all their time doing those things. So for you, Chief, it must be great to partner up with these faith-based organizations to let them know there's a need, you know, for some help for children, seniors, you know, people who are having a hard time fending for themselves. That's correct. And we have the ability to reach out to members of the faith-based community, contact them, tell them what the need is, and they step right in and help us. Mm -hmm. And how important is it for you to get out there into these communities, and how are you received when that happens? Well, it's been a wonderful partnership, yeah. and we love the partnership with the police department. Mm -hmm. uh, they give us uh, some inroads into the community that we wouldn't have otherwise, and the partnerships that we have between churches uh, makes it a very, very strong uh, community-based, uh, as well as government-based um, outreach mm -hmm. and it, you know in turn maybe you are you know saying hey you know the police department reached out to us and now we're here to help you do you find that that's also changing the way people maybe think about law enforcement in the community too if they've got some you know wrong ideas about about law enforcement yes uh, what we've discovered is that some people actually now see us in a different light which mm -hmm. is what we'd always want them to see that we are partners with the community to help them, not just with crime, but other issues as well. Sure. So if people do want to get involved, I know you have an event coming up where you're looking for people who want to get out into the community and help, but maybe don't know where the need is because they might not have the inside scoop like you do now because you partnered up with the police department who's out there all the time. And that's been one of our, our biggest things as churches yeah. in the faith-based community is knowing where to help. And uh, we have an event on June 20th through the 25th. Uh, every year we do this. And we partnered uh, last year. We had about 30 churches and mm -hmm. uh, over 11,000 man hours in the communities. And if they would like to uh, partner with us, go to our website. It's www.servethecitychesapeake, all spelled out, mm -hmm. .org, and click on the link, and they can volunteer. We'll connect them up with a community uh, that's maybe close to them or that they have a heart for. Yeah. I was reading that you can do things like maybe even help folks with small home repair Absolutely. or if they have maybe a child that they're caring for. And I mean, it's summertime and a lot of parents, grandparents, caregivers are saying, I don't know what this child's going to do all mm -hmm. summer. You can point them in the direction of some Absolutely. affordable quality programs. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Sounds like a win-win. Yes, it is. We also need... Uh, uh, air conditioners, those kind of things for those people that you mentioned with the heat coming this week yeah. and so forth. And uh, a lot of people have no air condition, no heat in the winter. And so we try and get as many of those resources to the people as we can. All right. So the website was right there on your screen. Uh, kicks off Monday, June 20th. That's when you need to get in touch with the organization if you can help, if you'd like to volunteer. Monday through the 20, Monday the 20th through Saturday, June 25th, 761 2932 for Serve the City Chesapeake. Hope maybe other cities will see this and say, hey, we need to get that going on here. Very good. All right. Thanks to both of you. Thank you.